Hello and welcome to Ukrainian Flames, a special project by Ukraine Crisis Media Center in Duo Euro Atlantic Course and Analytical Center of Ukrainian Catholic University. My name is Victoria Zabian. I'm head of the UCMC Press Center. Please like, share this video and subscribe our channel to stay tuned. Ukrainian people do their work on different front lines in order to bring the victory closer. One of them is the volunteer movement that is becoming stronger and stronger since 2014. Ukrainian volunteers inspire the world, help Ukrainian armed forces, support people who have become victims of war, rescue animals and do many other things. Today we prepared comments of only few of Ukrainian active citizens from different areas, but united with the desire to help our country to win this war. For example, Oleg Baklazov, representative of Despo NGO and volunteer, with his colleagues helps to renew normal life in liberated and ruined communities and supply locals with everything that they need today. I am Oleg Baklazov from Despo NGO. We are now using our experience supporting the reform of local governance in Ukraine to provide humanitarian aid to Ukrainians and communities who suffered from Russian invasion. One thing to know about us, Ukrainians are responsive people and ready to join efforts to solve common problems and help each other. And the Russian invasion revealed the once again. From the first days of this full-scale war, most of my friends either joined the army or became volunteers, helping in all ways imaginable. And I am so proud of them. Fighting the enemy really requires all available resources. So, since February 24th, we helped the army, the territorial defense, and communities that were occupied or suffered from battles and attacks. Tens of thousands of Ukrainians have no roof over their heads and no essentials. The ruined infrastructure means no electricity supply, no water supply, no gas. So, our NGO helps people in these most difficult times until the victory of Ukraine and the rebuilding of our country. We deliver humanitarian goods to those communities that need them the most. Autonomous power supply systems, medicine, food, hygiene products, posters and leaflets on first aid, and much more. We have already provided over 10,000 tons of humanitarian goods for nine regions of Ukraine. We are thankful to our international friends and supporters. We are thankful to all Ukrainians who help with us. The victory against Russia is only possible with joint effort. Only together we can stop the Russian occupiers and save the civilized world. Slava Ukraini! A lot of Ukrainians left their typical job for some time to have more time to support Ukrainian soldiers and people in these hard times. Artists, musicians, singers are among them. Famous Ukrainian band Antitela is a group of brave and decisive people who do a lot of for Ukrainian army forces and civilians. Uh, the part of them are in territorial defense and the other part is actively volunteering. We asked Metro Vodovozov, drummer of the Antitela band, to tell more about their activity. Greetings from Ukraine. My name is Metro Vodovozov. I am a drummer for a popular rock band called Antitela. Just like two months ago, uh, we were touring with concerts to gather stadiums full of our fans. But for now, we are defending our country with the half of the band in the front line in the territorial defense and the other half volunteering. I want to point out that the 24th April marks the beginning of the third month of this terrible war. The war that made us put up a fight for our future and freedom. Military in the front line, the volunteers in the rear. Together we are doing everything to protect our motherland, to win as fast as possible and to save a uh, maximum number of civilians' lives as the whole country is at risk. Let me introduce you a little to a volunteering in Ukraine. At the moment the range of volunteering is really endless. Everyone finds themselves uh, where they are most useful. Uh, for example, uh, that could be finding humanitarian aid, sorting medicines, purchasing ammunition for our soldiers, um, helping uh, homeless people with food or some place, uh, delivering everything to a front line, raising and distributing costs, and of course our internet army uh, who fight for Ukraine online. 
Our team does everything uh, to provide civilians and military uh, from finding uh, what is needed uh, to delivering it even to the front line. If in the beginning of the war everything seems like a chaos, and uh, nowadays uh, the volunteering movement is really well organized. We already have uh, a proven team with well-established ways and logistics uh, of finding and transferring goods and um, the field of our activity in which we already gain the necessary experience and skill for competence and professionalism. Some words about what we do. Since the beginning of the war, we were providing um, civilians and military of the Kyiv region with food, medicines, military ammunition and uh, some building materials for uh, fortifications. We constantly receive uh, the most of humanitarian aid from abroad and continue to distribute it uh, within, uh, all within the region. Uh, all this thanks to our friends from diaspora, uh, as well as foreign activists and organizations. For months now, we have been redirecting our efforts to the other regions of Ukraine, such as Sumy, Kharkiv, Donetsk, Lugansk. We began to actively cooperate with other volunteer organizations and foundations, and also our friends activists uh, for more help and to speed up the process. Every week we received like 6-8 tons, uh, a lot of 6-8 tons, it's like uh, 3 uh, Mercedes Sprinters. And together with my team, we deliver it. Then we collect again and deliver again. Uh, very often our cars uh, break down. Uh, sometimes uh, we may lack strength or internal resources, but we will continue to work as long as uh, necessary, just like our soldiers in the front line. For such regular trips, uh, we must get the maximum resources to find and supply everything needed. Alexander Solontai, um, guest lecturer at UKU, helps us with that. Thanks to his uh, extensive connections and knowledge of the operational uh, situation uh, from uh, uh, throughout the whole country, uh, we always promptly receive uh, ammunition and uh, equipment uh, such as thermal images, generators, night vision devices and much more. And also, we built a safe uh, roads in the territory where the, active, uh, where the active battles take place. This is very important here, uh, due to Russian occupiers open uh, the fire on volunteers and their cargoes. And here we come to the topic of the speech. Are volunteers approaching victory? Definitely, yes. It's impossible to be 100% ready for uh, such a war, especially with uh, uh, an enemy being Russia. Uh, there is, uh, there are enough, uh, they aren't enough weapons and ammunition uh, to prepare every territorial uh, defense uh, fighter for most effective confrontation against occupier. Uh, there is not such amount of food, medicines and humanitarian aid uh, to provide millions of Ukrainians in such a difficult situation. And while the state leadership is gradually establishing uh, the supplies needed to improve our defense capabilities, uh, volunteers are covering everything else as fast as possible. We are the rare of this war, and the results of battles and the war as a whole directly, uh, di directly depend on the coherence and cooperation between frontline and the rare. I am very grateful for the invaluable support of internal partners and those who are not indifferent to our misfortune. The war is not over yet, and it will probably not yet, not end soon. Uh, therefore, humanitarian cargos and ideally cargos with uh, military ammunition too, still remain an urgent need for the viability of the country. We unite the whole civilized world to face the enemy that doesn't have any values or morals to defend our common future. Glory to Ukraine. Let's stay, fight and win together. Local officials within their responsibilities are trying to support volunteer movement in regions as well.
For instance, Bogdan Kalichavi, mayor of Kupechensi, which is in Ternopil Oblast, also joined the work that volunteers do and he sent us his video. Hello from Kupechensi, this is a small town in Ternopil region of Ukraine. I'm Bogdan, I'm a mayor here and this is Asen, he is the head of our humanitarian aid center. Uh, since the escalation of war started uh, on uh, February 24th, uh, our community relies on volunteers every day. We work uh, almost with no weekends and uh, uh, every day we are uh, sending our soldiers to the front lines as well. Uh, we are receiving a lot of uh, refugees, internally displaced people here locally and try to accommodate them as good as possible. Yeah, and many thanks to our volunteers. Uh, they are most locals, but also we have uh, some IDPs who are volunteering here. Um, and every day we try to help uh, like more than 50 people. Uh, and our main um, like areas is helping our soldiers, helping uh, the families of our soldiers, uh, ADPs, uh, kids. Uh, so we try to find everything that they need. For example, medicine, uh, food, um, hygiene, uh, products, uh, different stuff for kids. Uh, so we're doing our work every day and also have a lot of partnership with different international organizations uh, and we have a lot of support from them. So thank you everyone and thank you for watching this video. Thank you. You've been watching Ukraine in Flames, a special project by Ukraine Crisis Media Center, NGO, Euro-Atlantic Course and Analytical Center of Ukrainian Catholic University. In description to this video you can find the information about how personally you can help Ukraine against Russian aggression. Everything is gonna be Ukraine.